Hi everybody, and welcome to the news with me, Wayward Cine, your news anchor for the moment until they get a new news anchor. Anyway, let's find out what the top stories are for the 3rd of October 2021. Thank you again, of course, to Rennie Pirate for researching and writing all of these news articles uh, in preparation for this news segment. Now, in what is being... <sighs> Good times. In what is being seen as a somewhat desperate move by Square Enix, Avengers the video game has been released on Microsoft's xCloud, the Xbox-based streaming service. The game, which currently sits at a Metacritic score of 67, no good, was mired in controversy at launch with the game's heroes looking too similar to the MCU, but not different enough to establish their own identity. <laughs> Coupled with the lack of endgame content, Marvel's Avengers was built around a Destiny-style model with players expected to stay post-campaign to enjoy running missions to upgrade loot. But on top of that, all future DLC is also to be free. The move to xCloud is being seen as a sign that the player base is so low that despite three DLC characters and expansions, Square are ready to offer it for free in hopes to bolster numbers and gain audience favour. Next up, rumours have it that Konami is reportedly working on games in the Metal Gear, Castlevania and Silent Hill series, with both internal and external studios attached. Anonymous sources speaking to VGC have said that Konami is refocusing on developing games within its best loved series, including remasters of the original Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid games for new consoles. Konami famously stopped making AAA game titles after splitting ways with Hideo Kojima to make pachinko machines, a kind of recreational gambling machine, but they have retained the license to all of those beloved titles. More on this as it develops, and finally in Twitch news. The best way to be seen on Twitch is to pay for the privilege. But not me pay, you pay. Twitch is experimenting with a new feature that will allow users to pay money to promote a stream. A Twitch spokesperson has stated that they are testing the feature with a small number of streamers, saying, we are launching an experiment to a small number of growing channels that enables their communities to purchase promotions to highly visible parts of Twitch. It works as follows. For 10 minutes during a stream, a notification will pop up informing viewers that the boost option is available. Participating viewers can then pay for a number of recommendations. For example, 1,000 recommendations for 99 cents and 3,000 recommendations for $2.97. These boost purchases windows occur randomly for participating streamers and can happen as often as every time a streamer goes live. Basically, it's pay to win, but while streaming games, that are also pay to win. That, of course, my friends, is the news. You've been wonderful. I've been Wayward Cine. And we'll catch you next week with the news. But right now, we'll return to our regular programming.